Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm a technology expert at the Human Manual. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through how to find your way around your Samsung Google Nexus 10. Once you've finished setting up your tablet, you'll see prompts like these on your home screen. Your home screen allows you to add application shortcuts and widgets, which can provide you either quick and easy access to your favorite apps or updated information straight from your home screen. An example of a widget could be Facebook status updates or perhaps National Rails app, which should show you whether your train is running on time or not. The icons at the bottom are app shortcuts. They're customizable and you can choose what you'd like there. We'll explore this in another tutorial. Because you don't have any physical navigation buttons, you always have these three soft keys, which are back, home, and your multitasking window, also known as the switch apps button. Earlier, we spoke about widgets. You'll notice a couple on your home screen already. And the other ones that like Google search and Google's my library content widgets. The app shortcuts at the bottom are Google Plus, Chrome, Gmail, Books, the application menu, video, YouTube, music, and play. Touch the application menu icon. You'll see lots of different prompts to help you get familiar with your new tablet. This is your application menu, and with a swipe you can get access to the available widgets too. You'll also know which ones you're looking at because it'll be highlighted at the top just as shown. The application menu hosts all your apps, including the ones that you install from Google Play. That's the Android App Store. All apps are listed in alphabetical order to help you find them quickly. In another tutorial, we'll show you how to create app folders. The settings menu is like the control panel to your tablet, giving you access to change wireless networks, sounds, colors, wallpapers, set up a password and a screen lock, and much more. Touch the home button to return back to your home screen for most apps. You have several home screens capable of hosting app shortcuts and widgets. In fact, you can even resize some widgets to ensure that you are maximizing the space available. Even touching home whilst on your home screen will bring you back to the center home screen. Your Nexus 10 has the ability to multitask and using the Windows switcher icon will help you jump from your browser to your email in no time. Use the back button to jump back to a previous screen or to close an application or function. For those of you who are eager to get fiddling and customizing, touching and holding your home screen will reveal some options to change your wallpaper. You can also perform the same gesture whilst using the web browser and it will show you some other options too. We hope by now you're feeling a little more familiar and comfortable with your Samsung Google Nexus 10 tablet. Don't forget to watch our other tutorials too. Please feel free to re-watch or download this video for offline viewing. Please rate and provide any feedback about our video or just email us at hello at thehumanmanualonline.com. My name is Andrew and I'm your human manual to your Samsung Google Nexus 10 tablet. Thanks for watching and bye for now.